They are based, uh, they are assisting uh, Newton, De or, uh, uh, I'm sorry, it, it is LAPD, uh, uh, they are a new, uh, they are assisting Northeast. Let me try to get this right. The Northeast is assisting, and they're contemplating doing the pit maneuver right mm. now. So you can see units are getting a little closer right now. We're monitoring a lot of this information. There's a lot of chatter going on right now, uh, but we're trying to get all this information right now. Glendale PD getting up really close, may contemplate doing a pit maneuver. Uh, but again, we are following this pursuit here as it... Well, we'll give Megan a chance uh, as we lost the shot again here momentarily to catch up on all that chatter that's going on. But we can tell you this all started in Glendale with perhaps a burglary suspect and the chase was on the uh, freeway, on the Ventura freeway and now in the Highland Park area. And we now have Megan back again as well. And this this more erratic driving by this uh, individual. Yeah, we may have multiple suspects from what we understand uh, right now. So uh, we're coming into the Highland Park area. We're just uh, almost coming back into Glendale, rather. You can see right there, that's the Glendale police helicopter. That helicopter, in addition to another helicopter from Pasadena PD. So we have a couple of units on this. Whether or not they already knew these uh, uh, people here, uh, let's just zoom in right here. You can see it coming up really close mm -hmm. right there, just yeah. passing between that bus and that vehicle. Uh, no regards for any of the traffic. So a very dangerous pursuit here, Glendale PD, originally originated out of that area, possibly a couple of burglary suspects, and we're actually heading into downtown Los Angeles, so it's going to be a little tricky with all these buildings here, but we're going to try to keep a visual as this high-speed pursuit enters downtown south along Alameda. Yeah, a couple intersections back, Megan, it looked like there were people crossing the street and, and this driver just barreled through the intersection. Yeah, and sadly, Caroline, he's been doing that for quite some time. Fortunately, we have not seen any accidents, and uh, he just passed an LAPD unit who was just uh, doing routine patrol in the city. It's going to be a little tricky here right now, Dan, is we're coming into some of the buildings, just mm -hmm. crossing over uh, one of these uh, uh, streets here. We'll zoom in. We should be coming up right over here, but we'll see the shot coming in and out as we come through downtown Los Angeles. Uh, we may be on Los Angeles streets here. We're on uh, uh, Los Angeles or Alameda, uh, but we are traveling at high rate speed right there. Construction zone, going right through the construction mm. zone, blowing through those cones. Uh, fortunately, we don't see any construction workers there, at least right now. We hope uh, they aren't uh, working there. Road closed ahead is what I'm being told. We got this building in the way. There's the road oh closure boy. right there. This is going to end here. Dan, let's get it around the building. Going through the construction zone. Look at that construction worker running oh from boy. it. Going into this construction zone. There is really no place to go. There he is spinning out. Hopefully, everybody gets out of the way. This is a very dangerous pursuit. This guy is showing no regards. That construction worker running for his yeah. life, getting away from that vehicle. Uh, again, these are alleged burglary suspects. Right now, they are showing they are going to do anything to get away from officers. Pulling into a parking lot here. So as we get into that parking lot, we're going to show you here. Maybe a great option if they can initiate the pit maneuver. I bet you that officer is going to try to do the pit maneuver right there. You can see that bicyclist was going down the side. Oh boy, this this is one of these Downtown really tough Los ones. Downtown Los Angeles, yeah. So you're you know we're going to get some of these shots here because of these high-rise buildings, and sometimes these buildings will be in the way. Uh, but we are doing our best here. You can see coming up on this intersection, Glendale PD, really close by, and I bet you these guys are going to want extremely it. erratic driving on sidewalks, cutting through gas stations, and we can see back here in downtown LA just the Where is he, Dan? challenges that you're facing, Megan, trying right to track him down, huh? There he is. He stopped, Dan. He stopped on the left-hand side. Suspects are getting out, Dan. Suspects are getting out. We're going to have to move it to the right. Move it to the right. And we are trying to get this into position here, guys. It's just you're on PV, Dan. A uh, little difficult here, but it looks like uh, these suspects already ran out of the vehicle. Yeah. And they ran down the street here. So, Dan, they ran. Uh, we're going to have to go 12 o'clock. Keep going forward. Um, and, and, again, you see the challenge that we have in order to mm. uh, maintain visual of these suspects? Well, the same challenge for officers who are flying in the helicopter. Uh, so we know it is a foot pursuit. Yeah, this is really challenging because, of course, uh, here, here we're seeing some shots from earlier. This is when he drove through a construction site with really no regard for anyone here. We saw construction workers here running for their lives. Let's go back to the live shot now with Megan Reyes overhead for us. Yeah, officers still have a visual of these suspects. The police helicopter says he's running through an alley. You can see officers right here are running. Uh, they are in foot pursuit. Hold on. 
uh, 650 Figueroa, 650 Figueroa and Olive Streets. And that's where they ran into uh, the parking lot of the International Jewelry Center. Oh, so, boy. Dan, it's on the northwest corner of this parking lot. So as we move News Chopper 4 a little to the left, uh, we'll see all the activity. But uh, very difficult shooting. We apologize for it. But this is the area right here where this pursuit ended. Uh, this is Olive and Figueroa, according to the scanner traffic that I'm hearing. And yeah, Megan, as you mentioned, you know, you're having a tough time following this. It's very difficult for the police helicopter that's overhead, too. But obviously they do have eyes on which direction these guys ran off. I, I can tell you it is a challenge. Dan, I'm shooting to the not 3 o'clock, 3 o'clock. Uh, it is a challenge here of those officers. The police helicopter is flying a lot lower, uh, so they're able to keep an eye on it. But right here, officers in the alley, you can see uh, they're they constantly in contact uh, with uh, the police helicopter, trying to get a visual of these suspects. But they were able to just outrun these officers. So prime, what they're going to do right here is set up a perimeter. Here we go. Suspect. We got at least one suspect right there. Dan, this is perfect here. Yeah. Uh, they have one suspect in custody uh, detaining one person. Whether or not that person is involved, they're not sure. So you can see by that guy's body language, uh, he's not involved. But uh, check it out. He was the only guy there. So officers assumed, went up to him and uh, put him in a position. And uh, right now he does not appear to be a suspect. Uh, but it looks like they may be summoning somebody else in this particular area. Ooh, this is an intense situation, Megan. Uh, we can see officers running out here again, uh, coming out of... To the right, Dan, to the right. Yeah, officers are running back out here, and we're trying to see if they're uh, uh, stopping vehicles as they come out. So that could be another tactic, uh, whether or not uh, they... Uh, went into a parking lot, uh, stole the vehicle, or are hiding in a vehicle. Uh, most likely, any vehicles that come in and out of this parking lot, they won't let any vehicles inside in every car that comes out. Uh, they will be checking for these suspects. Yeah, we should remind our viewers, this all started in Glendale. We're hearing that these were burglary suspects. They made their way on the freeway on city streets through Highland Park, ending here in downtown LA, where they abandoned the vehicle and took off. Uh, did give chase and they have now set up a perimeter in the area here as they look for the people involved in this. And we're looking now at uh, earlier. Okay, so oh, Megan, I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I'm hearing right now one suspect is in custody. We're hearing one suspect is in custody, possibly one more that is outstanding. I'm going to do a quick mountaintop change, guys, so I'll be right back. So we're looking at earlier uh, images of this chase, and this was the area where, uh, in, in just a moment here, you're going to see this driver head right into a construction zone. This was one of the most uh, terrifying parts of this chase because initially, as Megan was overhead following this, you could hear her speaking to the pilot and saying, okay, this is going to come to an end here. They're in a construction zone, but uh, the driver just barreled right through it. and really came awfully close to one of the construction workers who we saw run for his life. And Megan, are you back overhead for us? I am, um, I'm sorry, Caroline, I'm back with you. I have the scanners turned up. I'm turning them down, so go ahead. So you mentioned one suspect in custody and perhaps another one as well. What's the status on that? Well, according to my pilot, Dan Dudek is uh, talking to this airship here. That's the Glendale Police Helicopter. They had visual of the suspects. We believe there may be two suspects. One of them is in custody right now, from what I understand. We're also monitoring the scanner traffic, not hearing too much right now, but they are coordinating a containment in this area, and they are asking for LAPD assistance. Distance. Uh, there's so, the red vehicle. Let me zoom in onto this red pickup truck. Uh, the scene is already secure. They do have officers in this area making sure that nobody tampers with this vehicle. And uh, they are uh, going to secure this. And uh, again, we have other officers down the street from here uh, looking for the suspects. But that was the suspect vehicle. They ran down this street here, which I think is Spring Street, a couple of blocks into this parking lot area. Uh, this is the area where we saw a lot of police activity. So whether or not it has moved, uh, we're not quite sure yet. You can see this building right here. Uh, this was uh, the Jewelry Center, International Jewelry Center. That's what we said earlier, where the suspects may have run into. Nice. Great job once again staying over all this for us. We're going to break away now, but we will have an update for you on the NBC4 News at 4 right here on NBCLA.com and your NBCLA app.